then we're going to be creating an engineering drawing of our assembled drone. So like last time, what we're going to do is we're going to go to change the workspace to our drawing workspace and we're going to do from design again. I'm going to save. And we're going to keep the defaults the same. And this is going to take us to our drawing workspace. So like last time, we're going to apply a base view of our drone and we're just going to make sure the scale is one to one again, making sure that we're in the front view. We're going to place the front view at the left bottom hand corner again and we're going to press OK. You can notice this time that we've got a few more components to our drone going to once again we're going to project the view so we're going to do a side view and a top view and an isometric view again so we're going to select the base view there we're going to select the side view and then we're going to select the top view as well and the isometric view as well and press enter and that's going to create the different views of our drone this time I'm going to add a table and that's going to show us the different parts in our drone. So I'm going to select the bottom left hand corner here and that's going to create a parts list of all the parts that we need to create our drone. And I'll give the materials that the different components are made out of. Additionally, we can add a description by going back into the original part. We can also add a balloon to our drone as well and we can label the different components in our drone. So I can select the propeller there and that was number seven which corresponds to my table there and I'm just going to label all different parts of my drone can choose any of the different drawings there so I can select the isometric view and just need to select anywhere on the different components to create the balloon so I'm going to select the PCB there it's a little bit tricky to get the motor component as well there but can select the the wire at the bottom of the component you can also add text or labels to our component so I can label that my drone chassis is going to be 3D printed And I can also, again, once again, change the title block by double clicking on it. And this time I'm going to just make the drawing number number two. And I can also change the title to chassis and then I can change it to assembled. And I can change some other points in there as well and press OK and that will add that to the title block. And like before we can output the, output the drawing to a PDF ready to be printed.